Okay. Second time I've done this. Usually these episodes I do stuff for the first time. This I've done before. I boiled the eggplant. We're not going to use the grill because we don't have any cooling. So all you got to do is boil it up. I don't think you have to completely submerge it. I was shown to just put it halfway. And as you can see, one side is completely different than the other. Look at this. It should just look at that. Oh. So maybe a little longer. I don't really know. That's what we're doing. I think that, I you think just love Talong, man. Yeah, I'm gonna rotate them. We're gonna rotate. Oh. Rotate. Who doesn't love Talong? Huh? If you don't like eggplant, you should because it's very good. Ready fact. Okay, just flip them over. Look at that. Nice and wrinkly. You know? Like you've, uh. Actually, you know what? While that's happening, that's what we can do. Make the old batter, bud. Not batter up. <laughs> batter. Hey, just gonna crack them in a big old boat. Mm -mm -mm. I was told to always crack eggs on flat surfaces. Don't know why. Beautiful. I got this idea from Chef JP. I don't know if you guys follow him on Instagram, but amazing chef. Him and I had a project together for Jolly V DOT a while back. And uh, this is what he did. I'll show you. Dude, look at these soggy eggplants, bud. That's a solid selection of eggplants. Those are nice looking eggplants. Hot. Get a fork, okay? You need a fork, it's essential. If you're doing this, get a fork. If you don't have one, go buy one. Remove the scan. Just come, oh. This is exactly what you want. The skin should just come right off like a glove. Now, actually these are not that saturated with water you would think they would be because we just boiled them, but they have the skin on the outside so they're protected. Now we're gonna dunk them in the egg. Optional, but I love the flavor of it. Oyster sauce, just a little dab. <laughs> Oyster sauce, don't know what brand this is. Lim Kum Ki, premium brand. Dab. Oh. Just a little dab. Just a little dab. What we're gonna do, again, this is from Chef JP. Shout out to my guy. He actually lets his eggplant soak overnight in the egg. So the eggplant is completely saturated by the egg. He lets it soak for like 24 hours. But today, here, on Brad's table, we're just gonna let them soak for probably an hour because we're playing with sunlight. No way. I think there's a rotten egg in there. No, we're good, we're good, no, we're good, we're good. Dude, we're good, we're good. But you know, this has happened to you. You have been a victim of a stinky egg, rotten egg before. When was the last time you encountered a stinky egg? Five days ago. Five days ago, I and how did it- I cracked an egg, and it was black, and it was baho. Ew. Suck it out. Gonna let these soak for one hour. this because I just like attempting things I've never done before. This is the first time I'm going to attempt to make Kitty Lau. We got a nice, beautiful piece of tuna loin. I think that's a loin. I'm not really sure. Got a couple red onions. Try 
chop that up. We've got ginger, silly peppers, coconut milk. But first things first, the first step to making kini lao, so they say, is to ceviche it. To let it soak in vinegar, kill bacteria, also cook it in uh, acid. I went to the store, Yeni hat earlier today, and I picked up some vinegar. So we have we have three choices of vinegar that we can soak this tuna in. We got uh, uh, basically it's suka, so coconut vinegar, right? That's a coconut vinegar. Suka is coconut vinegar. We got smoked vinegar, and we have sweet vinegar. But we also, from our good friends at the Philippine brand Sweet Memories of Cebu, sent us a big old box of this stuff. We don't ever really use it. So I might use this to soak the fish in. What do you think? Should we try the vinegar first? Do you want to try to take the Live on the edge, Brett. <sighs> Can you smell this? Yes. Whoa. This one, I'll describe it in... Mmm, it's like carrots. <laughs> what? So he had it. Okay, and that one? Wait, which one's that one? The sweet one? Oh, it is. It's weird. It's yeah, like, right? It's, it's so most cool. smoky. Yeah. This one. That's more vinegary. Okay, what well, do you think we should just soak it in? Because I don't know if I'm gonna even add any vinegar after because we'll be adding the coconut milk after because we are making coconut kini lao. Soak it in this and then sprinkle a little bit of one of these ones on after. Because I think this would be better for clean. Okay. It gives a little taste of sweetness and then you add the smoky and we're like. Do that again? We have to cut the fish. I've had kini lao a bunch of times, so I'm just gonna chop it up into my size that I like. It's a pretty nice slab of tuna. Check it out, look at that. Boom! Oh, baby! Starburst size tuna pies, not tuna pies, that's the thing thing. Okay, we're gonna soak it in the coconut mango vinegar, because why not? I'm not gonna do it any longer than 10 minutes because I like my kitty lao to be more raw than cooked. I say cooked, it gets cooked by acid. If you know your science, you know how this goes. See, look at it, it's already bubbling. When you see those bubbles, that means it's cooking. So, shouldn't be using my fingers, but my hands are clean as every amateur, what's, what's below amateur? Is there like a below? Uh, what's below amateur? Rookie. Rookie? Rookie chef? Am I a rookie chef? No, I just like to cook. We're cooking, okay. Let's not soak for balls, maybe. Look at it, look at it. Look, it's already getting white. Timer. While wow, that's cooking. Silly peppers. The hottest, spiciest chili in the Philippines. That's a fact. These little guys, I'm gonna chop, I don't know how many, uh, maybe three. Or Kyle, what, you want it spicy? Sure. How spicy? Halang. Halang. You think three's enough or yeah, what? Sure. Is so no! <sighs> Chop some onion because onion is delicious and it's part of the dish. It's what it calls for. Like so just this one half. Yeah. yeah. Do that again. Yeah. Don't try this one. the vinegar from the tuna, best way to get the skin off of garlic, just get a spoon. <laughs> garlic. <laughs> it's ginger! Boom, look at that. Skin. It's right off. You don't need a knife because you'll probably damage the ginger, which we're gonna do anyways, because we're gonna bust it up. Maybe get a big chunk in there too. <laughs> we'll get back to that after. Whatever, we're gonna cut up some of these beautiful Green onion. It's green onion. <laughs> Seen people try to get all fancy and, shit and cut like nice little, like like. Uh, oh, that actually looks nice. Or should we just chop it up? 
chop it up. Whatever, however much onion you want, put in. There's already onion in the dish, so we actually probably don't even need this. But it's Wait, where are you putting that in? You don't put it in, can you not do you? No. What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm off track, whatever, off course. Let's get this. <laughs> Ginger, red onion, silly pepper. Hocken. Hocken in. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, just going with the flow. That's what we do. Gata, or in English, coconut cream, not milk. There's a big difference. Cream is creamier. It's got more viscosity. Milk is too runny for this shit. Don't use it. Use coconut cream. Smack that cream. Oh, you know what I'm forgetting? The salt. I washed my arms too before this, don't worry. Wait, 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 Brett. You're done. Just huck it in there, Brad. Huck it in there, bud. <laughs> Tablespoon. This is this is a teaspoon. So one tablespoon. Let's go with one, whatever. One and a half. That's gonna be good either way. Season it up just a little bit. Whatever makes you happy. You see me? You see the bowl? You see the coconut? It's a little hot of cream. <laughs> Okay? You guys remember nothing has to be perfect. Whatever. We have to do that. Look at that. Probably doesn't look like your typical kidney lover. I'm gonna plate this sucker. Just like that. Probably the perfect amount of kidney lover for myself and Kyle. Okay? Boom. Shake it up. Why not? This is totally optional, like the oyster sauce was for the Tlong. What's that, Kyle? Smack that. These are vegetable chicharron. So if you guys don't know what chicharron is, it's basically deep fried pork fat, pork skin, that they usually flavor up. These are vegetarian chicharron, but they're spicy, we're just gonna sprinkle on top, beautiful. Grab a big old handful. Oh, oh. Oh, please, yes. Call me daddy. Okay! That is coconut kidney lao with chicharron! But I forgot to tell you guys, earlier I already prepared some eggplant. We're gonna make some torta. Pardon, torta or torta? I don't know. Torta, talon! <laughs> We're a little bit of a tibbly diddly hurry today because Kyle has a meeting. He's the one behind the camera. Let's fire this shit up. Watch the glass. We the glass in you can use coconut oil, you can use olive oil. It doesn't matter. It's all gonna heat up. So fill the pan. No, I don't know. Not much. However that much is. I'm not really sure. There's a, there's a, can you see that? Oh yeah. That's solid, right? So it's completely, almost completely absorbed um, the egg. Into the plant. Into the plant, yeah, I'm dying right now. That is looking sexy. I don't know if that's too much oil. We're gonna huck one in. We're just gonna test one of these bad boys. Oh, baby! To add a little bit of that egg. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's solid, bro. She looks pretty legit, man. A little bit of chili oil. If you want, you don't have to, but... I'm just gonna cover that on there. I should've done that before. Ready? Yep. I'm excited for the big flip, man. Whoa! Beauty, dude! What do you think? Not bad. We're gonna carefully... 
Maybe let some of that, I'm gonna let some of the coconut oil drip off. Just gonna leave it over here. Boom. I think we should have another one. What do you think? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Coconut or not coconut oil? A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. We're a mess today, Brady Gang. I'm really sorry. No, I'm not. Because we're having fun! Ready? Whoa! Dude! Talk about it. I've never seen a tortoise that long that big before. For it, I'll go first because I know you gotta do your thing with your work. I'll do a little sample. I'm gonna use a spoon because you don't need anything else except for your kachara to eat this. Well, you should get a plate. Oh, yeah, wait. Wait, What's going on? You eat good. Alright, let's take a, Okay, go for this? Yeah, sure. go for it. Yeah, go, go, go. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this talon. Okay. I'm just gonna bite off the edge here. Actually looks legit. One second, I'm gonna give it the fin, give it the fin snow. <laughs> is it is it food? <laughs> <laughs> a fin snow is this food you probably eat. It's like Iceland. Nice reminder. They don't eat spices. They don't. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> eat it. You only got so long. Oh, that's so good, man, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. That's great. Coconut milk or coconut oil. That's Fried good. it in coconut oil. Nice one. Mmm. Good job. Thanks, bro. Look at that, hey? Not bad. Gotta get the cucumber, a little bit of onion, a little bit of a little bit of tuna there. Scrape it all on. Perfect bite. Almost perfect. Just shut up. All right, here we go, man. Give it a go. That was great, man. I ate the little chicharron bits. It's the crispiness of the chicharron that like adds such an awesomeness to the end. Mm. Oh, there's a little kick, a little kick of halong. Spice? Yeah, it's nice though. Good. You did great, Brett. Thanks, bud. I'm impressed. Thanks. A little bit of a rush today. Uh, you know, Kyle's a busy man. It's almost impossible. Well, it's not impossible, because nothing's impossible, but it makes it a lot more unique and better if I have someone helping me film this. So we had to get it done before Kyle's deadline, which we did, kind of. Again, you guys, I'm stoked with how this turned out. I mean, it's amazing when you follow a recipe from the internet. Don't be afraid to try new things. And I gotta be honest, the one person I usually go to for advice before I cook stuff is Erwin. Erwin Youssef, if you guys don't know Erwin Youssef, he's a good friend of mine. And uh, food connoisseur, I don't think he considers himself a chef either, but the guy can cook. I consider him a chef. I don't know if he does, but whatever. The Dalgona coffee and this now. So Erwin, thank you for the tips. Um, I just asked him whether or not I should let the vinegar soak or something, I can't remember. Now I know, oh, come on, it's already been a long day. I know I'm missing some ingredients, but hey, for the first time, I'm happy with the result. Uh, yeah, I thought the little vegetable chicharron on the top would be a nice flavor to add some uh, different textures. Texture, singular, because it's one thing. Let's give her a go. Do get a little bite of everything. Some green onions, some chicharron. Silly pepper, tuna. Oh my gosh. 
So I'm gonna try to go to the ground. Next episode of Brett's Table, Coconut Guinea Lao, Torta Talong. I smashed it. I find when I find recipes on the internet too, I, I don't I don't agree with the whole exact measurement thing because everyone has a different taste, you know. Some people like more salt, less salt, more ginger, red onion, green onion. Do it how you like it, okay? That's why I always freeball it, because it's fun and it ends up being amazing. Oh. Mmm, it's so good. I dusted it with some salt too. I didn't add pepper. Just eat. my first time cooking it. And I think it looks how it's supposed to be, yeah. for the most part. I mean, I've been to a lot of local eateries in Karen areas, and uh, it looks pretty similar, and it tastes pretty damn good. Like always, I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy, keeping positive. That was wicked. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, slap that like button upside the head if you enjoyed this video. You guys, Freddy Gang, I love you. I'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna crush this now. Guys.